Hi, we're here with Jason Bauer of Team USA, and Jason's going to tell us a little bit about his F-15 and uh, how the, the inside workings of it and, and how it how it gets its power and its radio control. Great. Basically, this F-15 is powered by a King Tech K-140 turbine engine. It's Karo Start, which means it starts on kerosene, not the older model turbine that started on propane gas. Uh, you can see there's two fuel tanks. The, there are 47 ounces each, and they're teed together to make a combined 96-ounce uh, fuel tank. The fuel consumption is about 14 ounces a minute, which gives me about a six to seven minute flight, which is perfect for the scale routines here at the Jet World Masters 2011. It's running a single uh, wall tank or uh, tailpipe. It's got a BVM heat shield all the way in the back, which protects the internals of the plane from the exhaust gas temperatures, which can get over 500 degrees Celsius. It's got dual batteries for the receiver, and it, the turbine also has its own battery to uh, power the computer that runs the throttle control for the system. Uh, well, you know what? I noticed that in the in the engine and the exhaust, there's there's no connection there, or is there when you put the canopy on? Or uh, no, there's no there's always a gap between the tailpipe and the turbine, and that just lets uh, more power go through. If you push it too far back, you lose a lot of thrust from the turbine. It also gives you, it lets air pull around the turbine, so it actually works better that way. And wow, check out the scale detail on these nozzles. How long did it take you to build these? I spent over 160 hours, basically the whole month of uh, February after work, uh, just working in the shop doing the fine details. It basically comes as just a flat, like plastic model kit. You have to cut the individual wires, you have to drill all the one millimeter holes in all the parts, and it's kind of a sequence that has to be pushed down in the right order so that everything actually lines up exactly right. And there's 30, uh, 30 of those units around each one. So totally I have, a, I have 160 hours just in the building process and another 30 hours in actually the finishing and sanding and painting to get the exact decal to match my documentation. Yeah, and, and you were telling us about your documentation that, that you got that by, you flew out to Nellis and... Right. Yeah, I flew out to Nellis in November and actually took 190 pictures of this exact same kit. And then I came uh, back and uh, started working on the kit in late February and actually made the show in time. So it was a rush job, but I think it turned out well and it looks great. And it took, again, first in static on the U.S. team. So we're quite pleased. Yeah, well, congratulations and thanks for sharing with us. Thank you.